I'm often asked, Michael, how do you do everything that you do? We see you on YouTube. We see you podcasting. We see you doing webinars, networking groups, online courses, every, everything. How do you do everything you do? I can answer that in one simple answer. Clarity. Clarity. If you follow me at all or know me at all, you know, especially if you're a client, you know, there's three things that every successful business has. Of course, people will always follow up with this and say, well, you got to have this and this and this. But if you have these three things, those other things will follow. Number one is guiding principles. That's your purpose, mission, vision, which we're going to be talking about mission statements today and how to write those. Then the second thing is SOPs, standard operating procedures. Those are repeatable tasks throughout your organization that should be clearly documented so that everyone's doing things the same way. And then number three is people. And when I say people, I don't mean just employees. That includes vendors, contractors, that includes clients, clearly defining the clients, the type of clients that you want to work with that are a best fit for your business. And of course, employees, but the vendors that includes, I was asked that the other day, like, what, what do you mean by vendors? And, and I don't just mean like suppliers. I mean, like bankers, accountants, attorneys, you've got to have the right team. You've got to have the right people to be successful. Got to have the right marketing organization or marketing director, or else you won't get good sales. You got to have the right sales director, the right person, those key employees, or you're not going to get sales. So when people kind of debate me, if you will, saying, well, you also need this and this. And I'm like, well, those things will come if you have the right people. So let's go back to a mission statement. I want to use an example in a movie of how a mission statement works. Now, for most of us, unless you're young or you just don't like Tom Cruise, most of us have seen the original Top Gun. So we know Tom Cruise is in it. We kind of know there's a hero, there's a villain, there was Iceman, there was this and that. There was a little love story, and then there was a big episode at the end, you know, things. We, so we know what Hollywood does with movies. So if I were to tell you the mission of Tom Cruise a, you wouldn't have to spend your time watching it. I believe it was about two hours. And B, you wouldn't have to spend money. Let's say eight to 15 bucks, depending on what movie theater you go to, plus popcorn and drinks, et cetera, et cetera. If I were to tell you the mission of that movie, which is crystal clear, using another Tom Cruise phrase, which is crystal clear, you wouldn't have to spend time or money to watch it. The mission that was given to Tom Cruise and, and the team was to destroy a uranium plant that was underground. That's it. How crystal clear more can you be? You now know, don't have to go see the second Top Gun Maverick because that is the whole mission. And because you've seen Top Gun before, you're crystal clear that Tom Cruise is in it. There's going to be a love story. There's going to be some drama. There's going to be a villain and a heroes and all the other stuff. A business is no different. A business should have your purpose statement, which we have another video on. And hey, while you're here, go ahead and subscribe. We'd love to have you in our tribe. We have over 100 videos now in our YouTube channel covering all bases of uh, small businesses. But while you're here, the purpose statement is your who and your why. And I know you can get on the internet and you'll find all kinds of other fluff and it should say this and that, but we use them as foundational pieces to build your business. In fact, if you were to ask someone, what's the uh, most important part of a small business? And they would say the foundation, or if you ask them what the most important part of the house, building a house is the foundation. And I would go a step deeper and say the pad. If you notice when they develop new communities of homes, they it takes, seems like forever to move dirt and pound dirt and pack it and all the things they got to do. And then all of a sudden the houses just start going up like that. The pad is the most important thing to a solid foundation. The statements in any business are the pad of your business. 
So we start with the purpose statement, which is your who and your why. Who do you serve and why? For one of my businesses, uh, Boss, it's to be a voice of hope for small business owners who are working hard and not getting anywhere. That's our who and our why. The reason, because I can be empathetic. I've been there. I know what it feels like. I know what it feels like to just be grinding hour after hour. You're posting, you're doing everything that everybody says and nothing is changing. We're working hard and we're not getting anywhere. That's our why. Our mission should be as crystal clear as Mavericks, the movie, the Top Gun second movie, to destroy an underground uranium plant. Our mission is to help guide and inspire small business owners to succeed in business and life. That's it. So when any team, mem team member comes on board, they know specifically why we're here and that's to help. So what do we do? We help not just anybody. We help not just business owners. We help small business owners. Crystal clear. We don't help. I mean, I'd love to, but there's other coaches out there that help executive coaching, C-suite, uh, CEOs, corporate America. There's plenty of fine people out there that do that, but we don't. We serve, we help small business owners to succeed in business and life. The reason we put business and life very crystal clear is because I just, I'm not, I'm a firm believer that work life balance does not exist in the small business ownership world. I like to say integration exists more than a balance. Integration is they're interwoven, they're tied together, but we have to know how to separate the two. In fact, uh, if, if you do, if you are able to have the freedom to go to your son or daughter's, let's say sport sporting events in the middle of the day, we also have to make up that other time. So there has to be an integration of give and take, push and pull, that kind of stuff. I highly encourage you to take a moment, define your mission, be crystal clear. And I'm going to give you just a few guidelines of some, uh, some tips on how to write that. First of all, start with what you do. So we help small business owners. Who do you help? That should already be defined in your purpose statement. Go back and watch that video. Once you start there, you, you will crystal clear, have your who. So you've already got half your mission statement written because we help. What we do is we help small business owners succeed. Basically, if I wanted to shorten it down to say we help small business owners succeed. So clearly defines your business, what you do. If there are stakeholders, if you're doing this with a partnership, make sure that you're all on board. Now, that's critical that we all agree upon it because once we do, we have to live it out. It's also important that what you do, what you define can be understood by your employees, be understood by your customers, your vendors, your contractors. In fact, any contractor that we work with or vendor, we share our guiding principles with them. So if you're going to be a part of our team, if you're going to represent us in any way, we want to make sure that you're fit and you're comfortable with our guiding principles because you are now a representation of us. They should be short when you're writing your mission statement. Don't go for all the fluff. If you build planes, we build planes. We uh, get off the corporate uh, all the tips and tricks that you'll see on social media, the internet, where we we put metal uh, flying things in the air that can soar up to 50,000 uh, miles in the air at going at, you know, Mach 3 speed. No, 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 no. Crystal clear. We build planes. There's a business that I've worked with in the past, and, and they were sharing a mission statement of a client that or a customer that they knew. And it specifically said, we dig holes. That's it. So if I need a hole digger, I know who to call, uh, landscaping companies, pool companies, 
We clean pools. We build swimming pools. We don't need to put high tech, state of the art. No. Tell us crystal clear what you do. So if I'm looking for someone to install a pool, I know that this company installs. If I'm looking for someone that maintains swimming pools, I'm looking for those that do maintenance. You know, landscaping is one of those areas where do you do hardscapes like gazebos, brick retaining walls, or do you mow yards? Like, tell me, don't, don't tell me you make things beautiful and this, that, and other, because that leaves me wondering what specifically are you good at? What do you do? So it answers the question of what benefit does your business offer? Keep that in mind. Try to keep it under a tweet. And I know a lot of people are on Twitter and a lot of people aren't. But when people mention that, they, they kind of mean like keep it to 150 characters or less. Like keep it to where you can remember it, where your employees can remember it. And so that it will benefit your, uh, the existence of your company. You can even start with, we exist too. I know that's kind of a common phrase now, or a fad, if you will, that says we exist to build swimming pools or build the best swimming pools. Now don't get caught up in the vision. So we have a purpose, a mission, and a vision. The vision is how you're going to be. So for instance, like ours is to help small business owners succeed. Our vision gets a little more specific on how we're going to do that. Internally, we have a mission statement of helping X amount of small business owners per month. We also have a kind of a goal, a mission goal to serve X amount of small business owners by the end of 2025. So we have some measuring sticks, some KPIs, if you will. And then in our vision and in your vision, that's where you describe the how. That's your, if you want to be the world's best moving company, our vision will explain how we're going to be the best uh, moving company or building airplanes or whatever. So I hope that helps. Again, if, if you want some small business ownership uh, tips, tricks, resources for free, subscribe to our YouTube channel, comment on the uh, video below. If you would, I'd love to have your feedback. And if you want to follow me, I'm very active on LinkedIn, Michael D. Morrison. Okay. See, I believe is the handle. Uh, I, I'd love to engage with you over there too. So I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next with the vision statement and how to write that.